This video will show you how to add a new strategy into your portfolio. At the moment, we're in the dashboard section of the platform. So let's click on Auto Trading. We can see that we are logged in. So we simply click on the number in under My Accounts. And we've entered the Auto Trading platform. You can see that there are no strategies currently added to the portfolio. But let us try to find a strategy and then add it to our portfolio. So we will go to the search bar and type in a currency pairing that we may be interested in. So for example, if I wanted to search for the Euro Dollar. And there it pops up. I could also search for all currency pairings that include the Euro. So all the currency pairings that include Euro will be listed. And so on. So GBP will show all the currency pairings that show British Sterling. So let's press reset. We can also find listed currencies under the categories here. So let's click on Major Forex. And let's say I'm interested in the Sterling US dollar currency pairing. Clicking on GBP USD here will populate the strategies window and show you all the strategies and all the signal providers that are available under this currency pairing. So the screen now shows all the signal providers ordered by net pips from the highest to the lowest. But it also shows the average pip per trade that is generated. And it also shows the total number of trades that this signal provider has traded under this currency pairing that we are currently looking at. So what we can do is we can switch between different currency pairings and find out who the best signal providers are for each currency pairing. So here we are. If we switch back to sterling US dollar, and let us assume that we would like to follow a particular signal provider, all we have to do is click on the signal provider's name and we'll be redirected to the full performance page for that signal provider. Here you are able to monitor their results and analyze their historical trades. There are over 150 different metrics or statistical measures to view to help you analyze the performance of any trader that you wish. So in this performance page, we have a top performing symbols chart, detailed analysis of closed trades, we have inside statistics based on different currency pairings. We have monthly results from when this trader began trading. This can also be viewed in chart form. We also have other statistics. The total number of trades this trader has traded in and the percentage that were profitable. We also have the trade population, which shows how heavily a trader has been trading in particular currency pairings. We also have a regression analysis based on return. We have ratios, risk reward information, and also a size of loss and the probability of loss schedule. This was all under the trading statement tab. Clicking on statement analysis shows you a growth chart, a balance and equity chart, and a profit versus pips chart. On the right hand side, we can see deposits that have been deposited into this account, the withdrawals, the balance, and the equity position as well. So if we decided to add this signal provider to our portfolio, we go back to the auto trading platform, check the box next to the trader's name, and click on add to my portfolio. So I will click add to my portfolio and a new window will pop up. This gives you full control of your fund allocation and your risk management. So let's go through this. On the top right hand side we have the available amount. This is the maximum amount available that we can add to allocate to this particular trader. On the left hand side we have the minimum capital requirement. This is the minimum amount that we have to allocate to this particular trader in order to be allowed to add him to our portfolio. 
Under Lot Management, if you select Fixed Lot, you are dictating that each trade you follow will be opened according to the lot size you specify, in this case 0.1 lots, regardless of the size of lot entered in by the signal provider. If you select Percentage of Provider Lot and keep this at 100%, the lot size you enter into on each trade will be a ratio of the amount the trader has in his account versus the amount you allocate to this trader. So for example, if he has $10,000 in his account and you allocate $10,000 to follow this trader, the ratio of lot size will be 1 to 1. If, however, you only allocate $5,000 to this trader, then the lot size you enter into with each trade will be half the lot size selected by the trader. The Do Not Exceed Lot Size option is a safety and limiting function that allows you to specify the maximum lot size you are comfortable entering into in any one trade. A quick note, because we selected percentage of provider lot and left the do not exceed lot size to be 1, the minimum capital requirement has jumped up considerably from where it was before when we had selected fixed lot and left that at 0 0.1. Under fund allocation, we can allocate up to and including the maximum amount we have available in our account to follow the signal provider. So for example, if I was to allocate $8,000, we can see that the available amount here has been reduced by $8,000 and $8,000 is now showing in the allocated funds. The maximum risk on allocated funds is the maximum percentage of this amount that I am willing to risk by following the signal provider. So for example, if you were to set this at 25%, what this means is if the live floating profit of all open trades is at minus 2,000 and begins to fall below this level, then instantly all the open trades will be closed, this signal provider will be blocked, and you will no longer be receiving any new trades to follow from this trader. This is a very powerful risk management tool that is available. A further risk management feature is the stop loss. This lets you set your own stop loss for the trades made in your account. If you decide to turn on this setting, the number you provide will override your signal provider stop loss. If you prefer using your signal provider stop loss, you simply set this to zero. The take profit feature works in the same way. If you decide to turn on this setting, the number you provide will override your signal provider's take profit strategy. But if you prefer using your signal provider's take profit, you simply set this number to zero as well. The maximum open positions feature is self-explanatory. It is the maximum number of positions that can be open at any one time, following the signal provider. If your open positions reach this number, you will stop receiving any new signals until one of your positions is closed. The price differences feature helps you avoid slippage, which are losses due to differences in entry prices between yourself and the signal provider. If your signal provider enters at a certain price, but due to factors like high volatility or a price moving faster than another, if the trade can't be executed in your account into the price range set by you, then the trade will be cancelled and you will not be entered into it at all. The price differences feature always works in your favour. This means that if you can benefit from entering into a position at a more favourable price than that entered in by the signal provider, even if you are more than 10 pips away, as in this example, the system will still allow you to enter that position because it works in your favour. And at the bottom we have the reverse trade feature. This allows you to follow any traders you notice are performing poorly. It will keep all the safety features and parameters you've set above in place and will enter all the same trades as the signal provider except in the opposite direction. Once you've made your selections, you click apply and it will add the signal provider into your portfolio. So I will click apply now. And there we are. The signal provider has been added to the portfolio. From here on in, any trades that this signal provider enters into will be added to our open positions under the criteria that we had just set.
If we wish to change or adjust these criteria at any point, we would click on the cog symbol, which is settings, adjust as required, and then click apply. If at any stage you wish to stop receiving signals from this signal provider, but keep them added to your portfolio, we can click on the pause strategy. This opens up a new window, which lets you know that no new trades will be opened following this trader. The trades that are currently opened, however, will not be affected and will close as normal. Then simply click on Submit. The strategy is paused, and you're given the option to follow the strategy once more. So let us try to resume the strategy. You will see a pop-up window. We click on Submit. The strategy is resumed. So we're back to receiving signals from this trader and any open trades will be mirrored into our portfolio. If at any stage we wish to remove the signal provider from our portfolio, we can click on the checkbox and click on Remove from Portfolio. The pop-up window will ask us if we wish to close any currently open trades. If we click Yes, these currently open trades will be closed and the signal provider will be removed from the portfolio. If we click No, these currently open trades will be left open and the signal provider will be removed from the portfolio, which means that we have to close these open trades manually ourselves, or we can just cancel the request. There is a key point here, which is if we wish to remove a signal provider from the portfolio, but wish for them to manage the currently open positions, the way to do this would be to cancel this request, pause the strategy, which means that no new trades will be added to the portfolio, wait for the signal provider to close all the currently open trades, and then remove them from the portfolio. And finally, we see that the signal here is green, which lets us know that this signal provider is currently connected.